is Nevi, and today I'll show you how to make my simple word cloud. So first, um, I have this page where I can paste a text into this input field, and it will generate a word cloud below. And the limitations I have set on the word cloud is that this is the minimum amount of occurrences there needs to be of the word in this text here before it's displayed in the word cloud. And this is the maximum amount of words in the cloud, so that there can't be more than 100. The rest will be left out. And this, the formula with which I generate the word cloud only takes the words, the words that had the most occurrences. So here, I paste the text into this input field, and here you can see the generated word cloud below. Um, if I, for example, edit the amount of words, let's say, let's put 50. Whoa. Okay, now it finally found the amount. Not instantly generated into the word right looking way. Okay, five. And here now only 50 occurrences and the minimum amount is five, five, fifty words and five occurrences. All right, I'll just show you how this is created. It's quite simple. So here, um, the source from which you're going to generate the word cloud can be different. It can be a data source from which you take properties and so forth. But I will show you just from a single clip of text. You take a container, which you want to be a horizontal container, which justifies content to the center and wrap text and align items to the bottom. Then in it, you have this paragraph. Let's just put a bit of margin into every direction. And yeah, this is where the magic happens, so to say. This formula, which I'm going to repeat the paragraph with, I'm going to explain it to you. So here I first take this text from my source, which is the page variable, and split it. And when I've split it, I'm. this is, of course, if you do it differently, this is what you change. Um, so group. I group it based on this word, the word itself, lowercase, and then I, what the outcome is a list of objects with um, the word as the word here, and count being the amount of words there was of that word. That's the group, and then the select here. In the select, I only take words which in which the count was bigger or the same as the minimum count defined by a page variable. And then I order the list so that the, the words which had the most occurrences are first. So I order it in descending order by the item count. And after that, I slice it from the first one to whatever the amount of words I want. Actually, this should be word amount minus one, to be very precise. Mm, and then I shuffle it so that it isn't in that order. I said before, yes. All right. And afterwards, I'm going to bind the content to the word. Let's just see how that looks like on the phone. Have I this text copied? All right. So here, right now, is the correct word cloud generated, but it's not styled in any way yet. So let's do those styles. Uh, for the styling, I'm just, well, first of all, I'm bolding all the words. And then I'm just going to use a formula. I decided to go with just 
doubling the count, or maybe 1.5. Let's go 1.5 this time, plus a base amount, base font. Let's put six. Um, and then, because some words have a lot of occurrences, I decided I will put a maximum for it. For it. So this is now going to take the smallest value between this or 100, which is going to be 100 if the count is too big. All right, and then I take this one and put a very similar formula for the line height, except a bit more here and a bit more here. All right, let's also put a color for the text just to make it look different. And let's see, I'm just going to copy the text again, whoop, and open the app here. And here it is. Now it's generated as before with tiny text for the ones that weren't that often and very much larger for those that were. All right, um, I think that's all for this time. If you have any questions, please come and post them on the forums or down below. And also the mammoth formula for the paragraph repeat will be posted below. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.